Hi, my name is Lars. I'm a Totem fan, sitting here in my uh, Totem workshop. This time I want to tell you about my latest project, this uh, large four-wheel drive car, and uh, how that went. Before I started to actually build the car, I designed it in um, the 3D program SketchUp and um, the first thing was the chassis itself. Uh, it is uh, a very strong and simple design um, that we can use for the base for the whole car. Now the front steering mechanism is made and the um, I'm happy with it. I made these uh, 3D printed motor holders. The profile is low and um, the function is quite good. I put this uh, servo tester on it and um, it works well. I have stoppers here. That stops the steering so it doesn't bend all over and, and locks here you can see the rear wheel motor uh, holders 3d printed they are easy just to fix straight on to the strip brackets on the on the back there so now the fat tires are on the car and uh, as you can see, it can turn quite sharp turns, I think. So here I put uh, <clears throat> electronics on the car chassis and the cables from the motors. The front uh, wheel motors cables I made in a loop close to the hub where the kingpin steering is so that it doesn't get stretched or anything when it turns and the, the totem beams are perfect for stripping with zip ties cables and making it tidy so now I will be setting up the totem app in my mobile phone I have um, Taking the um, two DC motor outputs A and B, they seem to be working, and I will edit and uh, edit this slider and add. There is power A and power B. Now I will add topic um, for. The X4 board, power C. So, um, and it's, I will see if it, I need to invert it or, or not later. I will try it just. Save and play. Yeah, it goes the correct way. You, you don't want uh, the motors to go in the wrong direction on each side. So I'll take the last motor add topic on the X4 D and I'll try if that one is okay as well save and play all four are going well then I will uh, show that I have I have made the range of the servo so that it doesn't hit the sides when when turning so that means that you can fine-tune the range of, of the steering so time to go out and, and try it upside
the different parts of the body is made out of distinct modules that are easily put together uh, just with a few bolts um, you have the wheel guards the connecting center frame um, you have the loading um, part and the cockpit so we'll make it one by one so next i made was the frame that connects uh, the body to the chassis lightweight and easy to just fix the whole body with six bolts to the chassis so here's some brackets i printed uh, for 30 degree bends and 45 some needed uh, support material but uh, others didn't four hours it took to print these ones it's really quick to build with uh, the plastic brackets especially the, when you have angles like 45 degrees and so on it's uh, you can put together first and then put some bolts in at last like this and then some bolts so the next i built was uh, the steering house the cockpit i used almost only plastic brackets and it's really strong and lightweight it's meant to be put on the frame i will do that later but first i will use boards to cover and make some nice panels before i put it in i'm using this small saw circular saw it cuts uh, easily the, the board but soon I will get my pro cutter board cutter and uh, replace this it's a bit messy and uh, noisy there are some <coughs> board snap brackets printing that I will use later now I'll demonstrate for you the very quick way of of uh, putting panels into the beams you just snap the holders this one was upside down of course then you just put on the board And it tightens itself quick and simple. I'll put two more later. Mm. Now it's time to put all parts of the body um, for the car together. So I will just put this there and this one here and we'll see how it looks so the, the body with the cockpit uh, wheel, wheel shields everything now it's ready to be put on the car and you can see we can drive it so it's easy to fix the chassis to the body but you can use six bolts but I think four is enough
thanks for watching my videos building with totem